just an update for you. Um, big thank you, first of all, to Lee Cooper, who have sent me some of their workwear for review. Uh, I'm actually wearing some of it at the moment, and I shall be uh, wearing it in future videos and uh, reviewing some of the items along the way. So thank you very much to Lee Cooper. Secondly, thank you to Derek, who took part in the Toolmate 15. Uh, he made a strop, well that was one of the, the projects he did, made a, a strop, and uh, he commented that I, I used an MDF strop and didn't use a leather strop. Uh, he thought I ought to, and he sent me some leather samples, so I'm going to be making a strop pretty soon. I may video that as well. So thank you Derek. Another thing that's coming up is um, I have a popular video on restoring a Stanley number four hand plane and uh, that's pretty old I did that when I was starting out and it's a bit rough around the edges but I happen to have come across a Stanley number five well actually a couple quite recently and, and this one needs a little bit of work so I'm hoping to do a new video on restoring a hand plane using this one so I hope you'll find that one interesting We'll just cover some of the things that have been going on recently. If I look at uh, some of the videos I've released, I don't know if you've seen the blanket chest that I made as part of the Sterling Davis Pallet Up Cycle Challenge. Um, that's quite interesting and you may like to look at that if you haven't seen it yet. Just released a video on patching small holes such as nail holes. And I shall be doing one on patching larger holes coming up very soon indeed. Also we did some hand or power challenges and uh, Guy and I both did a sliding dovetail, a dovetail housing joint. That seems to be quite popular and we had some good comments on that. So if you didn't see that one yet, please go and have a look. Um, Toolmake 15 was very popular. Uh, there's a lot of videos on there, a lot of ideas for tools. Uh, if you haven't looked through the playlist of that yet, you might like to do that if you get a few minutes spare. And also, just after the previous channel update, I, uh, I made a cross for the local church who had had theirs blown off the roof and uh, whilst repairs were taking place, they had scaffolding up and uh, they wanted a little temporary cross. So I made them one of those and there's a video on that. I think that covers what I've been up to and what I'm hoping to do in the near future. Uh, oh, something else that I, I just almost forgot about there. I'm going to be doing a few videos um, with hybrid woodworking. So a mixture of power tools and hand tools. So try and take the benefit of both of those. And I'm waiting to hear whether I've uh, landed a little project locally, which I think would be really quite interesting to use a hybrid method on. Something else that's going to be happening pretty soon. Uh, as autumn gets here, I'm going to be running another little competition. Uh, I've been going through some of my stuff recently and I've dug out a book that really helped me when I started out in woodworking. Uh, it's by Tag Frid. And I can, can't highly enough recommend this. So if you don't manage to win it, uh, go out and try and find a copy for yourself. So look out for that competition. I hope to be launching that by the end of September. Now the last couple of months have been really quite tight on time for me and I've struggled to get some videos out but uh, the next few months coming I've got some projects which I hope will be really interesting and I think I'll better turn into some good videos for you. So watch out for that. Thanks very much for all your support. I'll see you soon. Cheerio!